the modern day equivalent of a holy pilgrimage, British Neighbours fans descend on this theme pub in Melbourne to bask in the presence of Neighbours regulars. Like this one, it's Dr. Carl, again. He's 50, you know. I flew in this morning at 6.35 from the UK after our three week tour. We had an absolutely awesome time. But walking in here tonight makes me realize how wonderful it is to be at home. Every Monday night, the Elephant and Wheelbarrow in the St Kilda suburb of Melbourne plays host to a night's dancing, snogging and general neighbours related weirdness. Bouncer the dog is in the building! It's no surprise that sometimes fans have problems separating fact from fiction. Mostly people call me Susan. Occasionally they'll call me Jackie, which is, which is very nice. I actually really appreciate it, though, when they, they know my real name. If they call me Lou, I don't mind at all. A lot do. But they expect something from you when, you do, when they do that. You either lose dirty laugh or... <laughs> Laura, you said you were 25. That's rather marvellous, because that makes you just old enough for Dr Carl. the hungover Neighbours fans, there's also a tour of the street itself. I was in the neighbourhood. I thought I'd pop past. Doesn't this man have a home to go to? <laughs> How are you all? You're well? An estimated 15,000 fans per year set foot on the holy tarmac of Ramsey Street. Real name, Pinnock Court. <laughs> there it is, Ramsey Street. We got here at something like two in the morning. The next day we went and booked the tour and then did it, <laughs> did it the day after. Yeah. It was the first thing we did in Melbourne. We've been filming here today on Ramsey Street and you have busloads of fans <laughs> come to watch. The support and the extent of the love of the show all around the world is just extraordinary. Apparently my mum used to rock me to sleep to the theme tune of Neighbours, so I've watched it my whole life. Now everyone turns up and says, oh, it's so small, I can't believe it. And they're also very good with their camera angles. When they shoot them down the street, they film from all the way back over there where the garage is, and so then it makes it look a long way away. There's a bit more trickery than that. The interiors that we see on the TV are shot down the road in a big studio. That's because the houses on this quiet cul-de-sac are lived in by real people. The same people since 1985, in fact. At that time, when Neighbours was first mooted, the producers considered calling it No Through Road, a one-way street. But they never seemed to be bothered by the fact that the real houses only have two or three bedrooms. We have stopped halfway through scenes and we've gone... We've got eight people sleeping in this house. How the hell can that happen? It's crazy. I don't know. A bit of room sharing going on, obviously. That's how all the sordid relationship starts. It's one of the great mysteries, like the pyramids of Giza. There are just tunnels and layers and, and wings that nobody knows about. There are yeah, about 16 bedrooms and three studies, 14 bathrooms, uh, sunrooms too. We once had a sunroom. Houses like the TARDIS, more gags than the Chuckle Brothers, more plot twists than Britney Spears, and 23 years in show business. Just what is the key to Neighbours enduring success? Anything that happens on the show could happen to the people who watch the show. Whereas if you watch an American show, you have to be a multi-millionaire, a murderer, a mass rapist, or a serial killer. Each show would present you uh, with drama, but it would be interspersed with not necessarily comedy, but light-heartedness. Um, I, I remember the days of the Joe Mangle and Harold Bishop and Henry Ramsey together. I mean, you've got a scene with those three in it together. It was just hysterical. The reason why Neighbours is so popular is basically because there's sunshine. <laughs> Obviously they like to see the sun. We've got the sun and, and the surf. Australia's quite bright and happy. <laughs> Look at this beautiful blue sky. It's, it's always summer on Ramsey Street. Well, where are you going? There's the odd girl walking around in the bikini. That could help as well. Don't forget, tomorrow Neighbours is rocking up on five. No worries. It's wicked to be on five. I was not. Really looking forward to seeing you all soon. You're hot for me. Tony! Okay, okay, just breathe. <laughs> breathe. See ya. Tony! 
Same Ramsey Street. New home. Look how much they love it. Oh, so do we. The wait is nearly over. They move in tomorrow. Catch the neighbours first on five at 1.45 in the afternoon and again at 5.30.